guys we're here on Jenkins look how beautiful it is and hopefully once me and dad set up get the rods out in the spots what we need them to be in hopefully we can get a banger heads or tails tails <laughs> tails 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 never fails as they say <laughs> it's really oh, oh it's it it's it <laughs> come on man. get in there you <laughs> and I'll have the right answer. <laughs> Can't get that quick back though. <laughs> you want me to try and get it? You got it? Oh, I've got it. Heads. <laughs> it heads. <laughs> Dad's got this side. So, seven feet, nine foot, four foot there. That could be a good spot, Dad. Could be. Uh, I've got the left hand side. So, seven foot of water there, four foot there, three foot over there on the other side. I'm pretty happy with what I've got, to be honest. Right hand side does look good, but I'm happy with the left hand side. I think that'll produce me a couple of fish. <laughs>
right, we're here, we're set up, all the rods are out on deadly positions. My two rods, I've got one multi-rig with a 12 mil banana and pineapple pop up on there. So hopefully that yellow visualness can get me a quick bite. Then on my left hand rod, I've got a blowback rig with a 10 mil LM94 barley on there, two of them. So hopefully matching the hatch will try to get me a bite as well. So two, two different ideas and let's see which one will get me the quicker bite. Dad's rods are out on deadly positions as well where the fish are patrolling and he's got them on solid bags with a little bit of barley and a little bit of sweet corn and hemp round there. So hopefully that visualness of the corn can get the fish feeding on Dad's spots. And we've met Steve, he told where the best peg is and it is the right hand side which his Dad's on. That's why Dad was very, very happy when he won the coin toss and he's celebrating behind me. <laughs> yeah. And Steve told him, told Dad where the spots are and we're going out in the boat to just see where them spots are, just have a prod around. It is nice to fish a different water on the same complex. It's weird not to fish the Cat Lake because that's what we've always done is come down here and fish the Cat Lake. But Jenkins is such a beautiful water and hopefully to top it off even more, we can get Tango. Me and Dad could get Tango. Oh, that could be a good one. Right, now I'm just going to tell you how we get where we want to be, where our deadly spots are. Where our spots are, sadly, we can't cast them. So we've got to use our trusty bait boat here to get under the trees, under the canopy, so we can be really stealthy, so we can get this bait on the desired spots. And thank you, Mick Batley, for sorting me out a bait boat arm so I can attach my deeper to see where if there's a little bit of weed on the blanket of weed on the floor, a nice gravel bed, plateau, and see where the fish are as well. And this is a bit of brilliant kit because we're going to put it back out in action once I've sorted out my rods, get it in action and get it, get my rods on my spots. Right, I'm just going to give you a quick morning update. So when I woke up, got out my bivvy, scoping the water, I saw a big fish bosh out and it was orange and black. And you know who that is? It's Tango. And then when it boshed out the first time, it boshed out the second time. So what I did was I got really excited, reeled in my left hand rod and changed the blow black rig. So I've got a little white topper with an LM94 10 mil boiler. So it's nicely, wafting on the bottom and hopefully fingers crossed that can get me a bite so what i did was I put it out in the boat stealthily as possible on the line where tango jumped out on that far margin and it dropped my foam came up and dad went me and dad looked at each other and went that's the spot so hopefully whilst me and dad are making breakfast it'll scream off and it'll be tango Right, it's been an eventful afternoon, but welcome back, JP, to Churchwood. Thanks for having me. And well done for catching your pike on a whip. That takes some serious skills, as that? The whip's been the, the weapon of choice for today. We've caught yep. one pike, a yep. couple of perch. Um, but sadly, we had, we've got no carp to report as of yet. But being the idiot I am, I threw my phone into the lake. Out of pure, pure frustration. And excitement from JP catching that pike. <laughs> Had you just slung it in gay abandon? Yes, JP! <laughs> <laughs> yes! But now we're going to celebrate JP catching that pike with having a Ridge Monkey ham and cheese toasty, aren't we? Yeah, we'll have a wake for your phone. Yep, and then RIP it's phone. And then it's going, it's going down. off. They're getting on a bit and they're going to yep. have it. They're going to go on the munch.
feeling this could be a catfish. Yeah, it is playing like one, isn't it? It's either that or a pike. Pike on a zig. <laughs> or is it a cow? We don't know as of yet. UK 30 for me, first UK 30 would be nice. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Let's pop that zig out there. Oh, it might do as a fish. And it screamed off. It absolutely melted off, didn't it? Oh, yes. But I do think it's a catfish. You're going to see in a minute. It's a catfish. Blasted. Halloween evening here at Jenkins hopefully we can get that ghosty common what's in here to top it off because it's Halloween and it's meant to be really really spooky but I don't think it is dad is it? Do you think it's spooky around here? I know. It's always spooky fishing with me. <laughs> yeah sadly dad didn't catch a carp it was a catfish a slimy catfish but we've put the zig back out and dad it got another bite, a proper zig bite, where it went beep beep, and the bobbin were going up and up and down, up and up and down, up and up and down. <laughs> it was going up and up and down, and uh, sadly, when Dad lifted into it, there was nothing there, so we put it back out on the spot. Fingers crossed, we can get a carp. You join us here on a rainy Friday morning. We've been really lucky with the weather up to this point. We're going to be packing down in the rain, which isn't the bestest of ideas. But after that, we're heading back up to God's country and I'll see you there.